Are you ready to feel the power? Test the slogan that you can read as soon you visit the website of Perlisten Audio. The first time that I saw the Perlisten speaker was to the Eich and Munich show this year. And actually, let's take a look of the small press conference. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome to the world of Perlisten. This is uh, one of the new brands at uh, Audio Reference. It's one of the new brands around the world. We have only been in business for 12 months. And we are really pleased to be here, and thanks to Mansour and the team. We started this two years ago. There are a lot of technology, a lot of passion behind the brand. We have come to market with more than 25 products. We have come to market um, being the first brand to solve the puzzle around THX Dominus. All our products are THX certified at one level. It's so beautiful to see a new brand that includes bookshelves, subwoofer, monitor speaker, center speaker and so on. The website is really well done and is giving you the possibility to compare the products. I will let the link in the description. I find this industrial design pretty elegant. The subwoofer, wow, it looks just amazing. Look at these edges and the style is just one of my favorite subwoofer design that I saw till now. I tested for you the bookshelf S4B, reference line of Perlisten. Perlisten line up is pretty divided in two sections, S line and R line, where the R line is the end level and the S line is the high end reference. So we have the S4B and the R4B. Let's compare it actually the two. So as we can see the S4B high end reference have a beryllium tweeter mounted on the DPC array. We will speak about DPC in a moment later. Also the woofer in the reference S4B is pretty bigger and use a PCD compositions. And I'm not finished. The reference line, the S4B has a THX Dominus certifications and the R4B a THX Ultra. And practically that means that you can still have all the dynamic that you need with a very low distortions and your speakers far away. 6 meter or 20 feet. And if I'm not wrong, Perlistens is actually the only one or the first that got this THX Dominus certifications on a speaker like that. So the S4B can be a LCR or also a surround channel. You have the possibility to screw it from the bottom or also from the back. So absolutely something unique. Any speaker should have something like that. It's designed in US and produced in China. That in 2022 meaning nothing. Also, the PS Audio FR30 that we tested some weeks ago was also manufactured in this way. 11 kilograms, so 24 pounds, pretty big and heavy. Compared to my bookshelf and to my Serafino, as you see, it has an important dimension. 50 mm thick front baffle and a full 25 mm side wall with internal bracing. So I suggest to be sure to have a good stand because you will need space. Unboxing the S4P was really pleasant and I felt the quality. Also, we are coming with this dust cover for the speaker that have a beautiful quality and is really well done. On the back, we find four binding posts for the B amping or B wiring. It's a three way acoustic suspension speaker enclosure in which our speaker driver is mounted in a cabinet with a closed back and no ported or vented box. And something really interesting, if you buy the frost stand speaker, you have the possibility to choose between bus reflex and acoustic suspension. So really interesting actually that they choose an acoustic suspension rather than a bus reflex, because most of the bookshelves that I saw are actually bus reflex. And this will limit for sure the sub bass extensions, but probably they want to have an ultra fast transient response, limit the group delay, maybe, no? I'm not an expert, but that's my opinion. Just let me know in the description what you think about it. It's available in six finishes. The standard one are the piano black and the piano white. And then we have the specials colors. Look really modern, really solid. I love this front baffle. It's remind me authority. And it's coming with two magnet grill. I prefer it without. This magnet grid remind me Kenwood speaker of 90s. <laughs> so the speaker features this DPC array, directivity pattern control. Using the array, the, the multiple drivers, the positioning and the crossover, 
um, we're able to control the vertical response to a much deeper frequency. So depending on which model, S7T being the largest, uh, we can control vertical down to a very low frequency. It avoids ceiling and floor bounds. Um, the smaller models, not quite as low in frequency, but they have very similar um, responses when you talk about on-axis, off-axis power response, they're very similar. So that's Perlison's technology for, for timbre matching, which is really important when you're building not just a two-channel, but then going into multi-channel uh, music. With a 20mm beryllium dome tweeter and two 28mm TPCD midrange. And in somehow I always find that beryllium sounds really pleasant to me. I had this feeling with the Focal Maestro, Utopia Evo, and the Sonus Faber, Cremonese, Extreme. Same things, beryllium tweeter, I think on the Focal is inverted, but I had this really pleasant feeling on the Eigent. At the end of the video, I will tell you why, in my opinion, this technology is a game changer. And now let's take a quick look of some measures that I did to the speaker with Room Echo Wizard and my mini DSP. So here we have a room acoustic response of left and right speaker in my room. As we see is pretty flat, something that actually I was expecting from this speaker because it sounds to me in this way. And here we have only the woofer for left and right channel. Pretty flat above 100 Hz, but as we can see before that, we got this big roll off. So something pretty uncommon, but actually on the Perlistance website, you can see that the frequency response is 100 Hz, 20 kHz, if I'm not wrong. So you will need a subwoofer, totally. Um, I was expecting this, probably not from a speaker of this size, but I think I understand per this mentality because in home theater you have a subwoofer for sure and if you want to use the speaker in hi-fi, yes you will need a subwoofer but actually with this roll off in my opinion will help you to integrate a subwoofer with the two left and right channel. And now let's move to sound quality. I tested the S4B in home theater and in hi-fi. In home theater as you know I have a Sonetto center speaker, I try to use the S4B like left and right channels but I noticed it a little bit of timber inaccuracy that was creating some sort of artifacts. And that's also why that this video is a first impressions because in my opinion to really review this speaker you will need a subwoofer and a center speaker. So I decided to move to a 2.1 system in Ohm Theater so all my test was done in 2.1 with the SVS 3000 micro is small i know but is a little beast review coming soon stay tuned and actually it was really interesting because for the first time i didn't have a center speaker so i had this phantom center speaker and with the s4b i noticed how actually good it is something really really interesting sorry if i'm using this word interesting too much time but it is like that was that first time i Test a phantom center channel with the sonetto line. I noticed that as soon you move from the center position, you will lost of focus on dialogues and intelligibility. Nothing that happened with the S4B and I was absolutely shocked. Take a listen of this binaural recording. Eric Clapton, Lady in Balcony, center positions, listening center position. Then I moved with my recording by all recording on the right and then on the left got a black magic woman 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 so as you notice, we got a great intelligibility in any positions of the couch. Other two Blu-ray that I use for my test, these are just the best. I have a lot of them, but these are two that are always present on my test. Hans Zimmer, Live in Prague and Mad Max. With the S4B, I was really satisfied 
from intelligibility, as I say, and from details, just details in the room, effects, just everything so precise, the imaging that has this speaker is absolutely stunning. As you know, my room is already treated, but I got some extra improvement in intelligibility. And here I come back to when I say that this speaker could be a game changer, because if you don't like an acoustic treatment, you maybe you don't like to see all this stuff on the wall. Really, this speaker can help to achieve the precisions, the imaging, to achieve the intelligibility that you are looking for. Now, I'm not saying that it's comparable to an acoustic treatment, but can really help and can really improve the sounds. Acoustic treatment, as we know, is 50% of what you are hearing. So it's definitely, in my opinion, a game changer for who really don't want to know nothing about room acoustic. Anyway, probably we will come back in the future with more details and a full review in home theater, I hope, with a center speaker and a per listen subwoofer. We'll see. The speaker has a sensitivity of 85 dB, so you will need power to drive it. And I immediately noticed it. I could push the speaker with the Cambridge Audio age <laughs> till almost the end, 80, 90%. And then I start to have some distortions from the amplifier, not the speaker. I moved to the Macintosh MC312 and things was much better. It's definitely a different animal. Cut, they can handle just a lot of power. It's unbelievable. And something that I noticed that I really appreciate was the fact that I could push the speaker, crank up the volumes, bam, really, really hard, was playing really, really loud. But I I got, was yes, was loud. But then arrived my gift and I said, hey, that's so loud. But I didn't have this feeling was to me really pleasant. Hard to explain, but imagine to be on the highway. Here in Germany, they call highway Autobahn. And here you can really go fast. So imagine to be on this Autobahn with a Ferrari and with a, I don't know, a Hyundai. And let's say that you are driving 150 miles per hour with the Hyundai and with the Ferrari. You will have the same feeling? Of course not. Now, I don't want to say that the Hyundai is a bad car. Of course not. That was a, an example. But what I want to say is that with the Ferrari, you got this comfort and stability that on the same speed with another car, maybe you don't have. Something also that's happened with the speaker. So I played really loud, but for me was just really pleasant. So overall tonality was to me, Pretty flat, pretty probably monitor, no emphasizations on any frequency range. And I got this sort of, let's call it happiness on instrument voices that was really pleasant with this beryllium flavor that I love it. So really balanced and composed. And what I really appreciate, I think I did, I never hear uh, drums reproductions done so well in a speaker absolutely beautiful the transient the speed the tonality wow, perfect bottom end as i told you you will need a subwoofer no way without and top end i didn't got a extra extension and extra air around instruments that i have here for example with the serafino they are they have these slight emphasizations on the treble, really slight, it just gives you this extra air around instruments. I didn't notice it on the Perliston S4B. So you got more a natural and neutral sound. Tales of America, guys, this is a must to have. I was just on Spotify and then I see Ondara, oh, who is Ondara? And I listen for his voice, I say, wow, absolutely beautiful. And I bought the record immediately. This is a Verve record 2018 actually the new album is coming soon and it sounds really beautiful absolutely the record is really well done and his voice is wow he was just in America and here I like that the S4B was reproduced the voice of Ondara in a with authority and 
textures regardless the listening volume. So really high, beautiful, moderate, beautiful. So something that I really appreciate. And that purple man, you, you guys ever heard of a purple man? Yeah, I heard about him, he's something else. Man, I wouldn't want to be bothered with you guys. He's an awful character for us. Fire raised him. Another great records and the Fairfield 4 voice was reproduced with authority, deep and ultra clean and clear. So this Japanese track is insane. Instruments inside the soundstage has a great imaging with a clinic location. I could practically visualize with the incredible resolutions the movement of any object inside my room. Here the piano was probably slightly um, harmonically rich. I generally used to have something a little bit more, more tinny, but here was um, slightly more full of body, but still natural and realistic. So we are at the end, this was my first impressions regarding the speaker, this was really positive. I would like to come back again on it in the futures and I trim a home theater full of Berlisten S line. Wow, I think it must be really unbelievable. And of course, is a little bit expensive, it's nothing that I can afford, but I understand that is a type of speaker for who is looking for something with a THX Dominus certification. So for sure, not for a small room like that. And as far I know, there is nothing like that on the market with this type of certifications and absolutely no compromises. Also in iFi with an audio file signature sound that is so clean, clear, precise, natural and refined. From it out is everything for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel to support my work and hit this like button. Let me know in the description what you think about this speaker and maybe you test it. Why not? And see you soon. My children, I did what I had to do.